hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today i have a, an unboxing of this stationary pal package that i just received and this is themed for christmas as you can see it's so pretty it says all about stationary and stationary pal logo is at the bottom with this cute bear and some presents and let's go ahead and open Unfortunately, her. Unfortunately, the lighting isn't very good because the sun had disappeared. It's a very cloudy afternoon. I just wanted to show you the lid. It also has Stationery Pal. I love Stationery Pal. I do love Stationery Pal. They are a great service. Items are very comprehensive. I got a lot of my Kukuyo from them and my Tombow from them. So it's a really good website to get your stationary fix and they are not very expensive so you can get a whole lot of stuff and their packaging is just amazing it's one of the most beautiful packaging that i have ever really received from any shop so it comes with this heart bubble wrap is it heart yes it's a heart bubble wrap and you have a sticker right here and it opens with so much stuff <laughs> i don't even know where to start so i guess we'll start with a card it says thank you and there's stuff at the back so that is really fun and sometimes they'll give you a 10 percent discount code exclusive for you in these cards so make sure to give it a read and keep it if you'd like and this time i also got some freebies like this one this is a stationary pack with pencils and this is really good if you don't um, have any Christmas themed things. So that's really fun and it's also great to give away if you already have those things. And then I also have these little hats and I think these go on top of pencils. I think these are pencil toppers and you also get this pen. So I'm going to demo just a little bit just like this one so so i have a green one a red one and i know i have another one a white one so these little christmas knitted beanies that says love in glitter and then back to the pen so it has a little um, sticker here it says for you so i'm pretty sure i didn't pick this up so this is a freebie and it has this little christmas topper on top and then more freebies over here i have this little bear i already have one of these and now i have three i think and these have always been really really cute then we have two two of these little bunny clips pins so this is the back and this is the front there's so many little paper wiggly things and this is too cute and if you have a pencil case that's canvas this is a really great um, pin to decorate your little pencil case and I have another pen wow there's a lot of pens this time so this one has a little reindeer and then I think this is the last freebie maybe and this is a little rubber ducky she's too cute does it make sound it does and it then does. i don't think i have any more um freebies yes so that might be the last freebies so i'm gonna go ahead and take all of these actually i'm gonna go ahead and take the whole box so this is what's inside my box just so you can see but then i'll take away the box so we can just take a look at what is inside and i will be right back so i have a few things that i want to show you um, a lot of them are paper based, but I'm going to start with the non paper based. But before I do that, I just wanted to insert a little clip here of their Black Friday deals that runs from the 1st of November, so a few weeks ago, and until November 29th. So those are the Black Friday deals that they have, and I hope that you guys would check out their shop it's really nice i really love their 
website it's very easy to navigate and to choose things i hope that you use this opportunity of their black friday sale to get some stationary goodies so first let's go ahead and take a look at some of the pens that i got so i have this sarasa zebra sarasa r in 04 and it's just a little ballpoint pen they're not my super favorite pens i feel like a lot of them are quite watery for my taste i do prefer the pilot ones but i thought i'd pick up the sarasa r just to see the difference the marvi ushida for drawing 04 i have one of these and this is just a quite a thin fine liner 0.4 so you can't go wrong with this this works great for papers different types of papers and then we also have some zig clear dot or rather zig clean color dots this is still in its plastic so I'm gonna go ahead and open one and I only chose the ones that I feel like I'm going to use so this is really well wrapped hang on okay so this one is double ended the clear cap has the circle so that you can just dot a perfect circle with just one go and then the other side has a fine liner as well so you can use this for functional planning definitely so i got the blue one and the light gray one i'm pretty sure it has a number so i have the platinum and i have the denim and then last for pens i think is the mild liner set and this one is special because it's the collaboration with the national museum and it says right here archaeology and i am an archaeologist so this really is one of my favorite things in this haul is this set of mild liners my liners aren't my favorite to be honest i prefer the tombow which you can also get from stationary pal so i thought i'd go ahead and try out the mild liners this time and what's special about them i feel like these colors you can get without buying this set individually or it is part of other sets but this one has these decoration of different artifacts from the japanese national museum and i thought that this is really cute oh why does it say google eyed and dancing people hang on does it have a different tip nope let's try this one nope uh, i guess those are just the names that they chose for the artifacts and then this, these are double-ended so the other side has the pointed tip these are felt tip markers and if you don't already have them then it, this is a good investment and once again i do prefer my tombos because i feel like when the tombos do dry when they're when the tombos are dry they look prettier than the mild liners but it's not a very big difference and i do still recommend the mild liners and then two more things i have a pair of tweezers which i do already have two of them but one of them is missing so i was a little anxious and thought i'd go ahead and get another one and then i also have this little acrylic block i do have one acrylic bl block right now i couldn't find the other ones that i had so i thought i'd go ahead and pick up one more and the acrylic pad actually goes with these little stamps from S Life Moo Style. It's spliced stamp, that's what they called it. And it comes in different shapes. This one is the whale one. So it has a whale and it shows you how you can decorate using these single stamps. So these are clear stamps. What you're meant to do is to put it on the acrylic block like the one I showed you. And I really love that it has these um, guides of how you can use them for art in a very artsy purpose. This one is a little hard to see because it had moved up, but this is what it looks like. So it's great if you have different colored um, inks, ink pads, and I have quite a few of them. So this one is the butterfly and flowers one. 
and I thought that's really cute and the stem says bloom I have another flower one I think these are all going to be just flower ones from now on because I don't know where <laughs> where my um, clear stomp stamps had gone and this one is the dandelions i think that's really pretty and last one so this is a non-flower one is a mountain and it looks like this and what you can do is mix and match these little designs to make your own and you can make so many different designs by just using these snaps so i highly recommend them they're not very expensive of all the things aside from the mild liner these are exactly what i am very excited about so i can't wait to try these in my kin board so i i do have three kin boards now so i'm gonna link the video up above the cards i did miss one set of pens but these aren't pens okay this is called kulikul kulikul from Katsuwa. This is a Japanese brand. Is it? Yes. <laughs> and it looks like this. And you get in this pack three different colors. How do you open? Oh, this is nicely packaged. So you can reseal this and just keep your pens in here and then put it in a much larger bag so that they are all together. Why won't they come out? Ah, okay. So it's very difficult to get the card out. So I'm just gonna take the pens out. I'm gonna I'm gonna see later if I have time in this video to try them. If not, make sure that you are subscribed in my plan with me. So I will likely use these. And what's different about them, you can see the color here at the top. And then they open, I think you twist them. It's a little tight since it's new and it comes out like this no okay hang on this needs to be demonstrated so I got the card out it's like crayons so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to write on top okay it's a cross between crayons it's a very waxy colored pencil I would say that might be more accurate than it being crayon. So it's a cross between crayon and colored pencil, a very waxy colored pencil. And then it also has these really cute decor on top with its branding, Calicule. And it's very easy to find out what color it is based on the color swatch at the top. So I really like the design and this is the coffee one. I will link all the products down below just in case you're interested in getting any of these. And I do highly recommend getting this set because this is very neutral, very coffee themed, very cute as well. And I can't wait to try these in my planners. Next, I have a bunch of dots washi stickers. So it looks like this looks like this and you have seen this before in many of my plan with me especially last year and i've been using these i do have a stash like a really substantial stash of these maybe five of these in different colors but i don't have this one yet and i feel like i don't have this one yet as well but to be honest the colors aren't very different from each other so you don't need to buy them all it's just that these are the things that I use quite a lot. And then I also decided to pick up these decorative ones because once again, it's not very expensive and you can get them on sale as well from Stationery Shop. So I have the green, the red, um, the purple, and the blue. So I'm gonna open one of these. You've already seen these anyways. So the main difference between these color ones and the more neutral ones is that the backing of this is very P PET or PVC depending on what they write but the dots themselves are actually washi so let's see so there's quite a lot to choose from you will never run out once you buy this <laughs> feel free to share it with your friends or like cut up strips so that um, you can carry them around you do get quite a lot and i have not used up any of mine even though i use it 
So those are the deck deco ones as well as the neutral ones very useful it just depends on what you would like next we have the film sticky notes tabs anything film so not paper is this next segment so here i have this very pastel sticky note flags and then this one is a classic this is the sticky notes that are clear it's not vellum not like the ones that i have from daiso this is very much like a hard film no i didn't okay there we go and then i have these translucent little flags and these remind me so much of the very expensive kita washi thicker booklet but these look like they are actual flags and I got them because elephants last for the sticky things or the film things is this there are more sticky things in that box and this one is also translucent but it has a little grid and it has a prettier backing and it looks like this so it has faint little gray boxes so writing on this is smoother and i feel like this is gonna work better than the other one that i tried the one that didn't have a grid so i really like that so now we have the paper products and these are the ones that are not part of a set i'm going to do the sets last so i have a few stickers here and a few sticky notes so i have this sticky note um, i've been eyeing this for a while and when i saw it hey maybe i should just pick it up now and then I also have these cute versions <laughs> of the sticky notes. So I have weekly plan, which I feel like really is a monthly plan. And then we have a checklist with the little rubber duckies. Oh my gosh, you match. Ta-da! That's cute. And then last, I have a to-do list. And then I also have, speaking of sticky notes, this is the last sticky notes that I have. And I know that this is paper, unless I'm wrong. Oh yeah, it's paper. So you get 50 sheets and these are pretty thick. And the sticky is on the side, which is great. Last for the paper sticky bits are these sticker packs. So they're die cut stickers and I think they are um, washi material which i prefer i'm just gonna get one. Oh, they're not washi they're just very thin paper so that will work as well so they're not stickers they're just paper i got two of them but if you're looking for stickers these are not stickers they're just paper and now for the highlight of that box i got two of their packs the green one and the coffee one i remember the coffee one but not really the green one so that's going to be a really cute surprise and what's great with these is that it's already themed and it's already packaged really nicely and you can just stick a card on this and say merry christmas and give it as a christmas present or any present like a birthday present or anything like that for any stationary lover so this is listed in a different part of the website and it's like in the bundles section so just look for the bundles and you will see these and you can actually look through all of them to see which one you like and this one is the coffee mini set start new day with coffee and it has this little cute cute very cute sticker and let us try to open her up without ruining this sticker so i can reuse her for journaling i do journal quite a lot i just don't show it online because it's really personal so unfortunately that's not something that i can film or maybe one day i'll try to do that for journaling journaling for me is not something that i would like to be sharing in social media but planning no problem so each bag will have quite a lot of different things and i'm so happy right now hang on there's so much stuff oh my gosh so it's not just like a single type there's actually different types it's very comprehensive which is why i got it so let's start with this little cutie and this is a washi tape 
it has these little ones and when you buy it as a bundle you do get quite a discount for buying it as a bundle so that is also something to consider if you just like to keep it for yourself which i am going to do or maybe like give away some of the things here and keep the others okay i really like this because this is a little standy so it can actually do that but it is also a clip it's not the best best made um, little clip but it is super cute and it will do next i have this pack of die cut stickers let's open this up because i do not know what's in it just gonna take a few okay so these are like drinks themed and i really like this it's watercolor and there's quite a lot of designs maybe like four per design so oh you get this card coffee mini set mean coffee mini set 2002 and start new day with coffee so as i was saying this is not a vintage themed package because you do get quite a lot of these really cute things not just vintage like so i'm gonna go ahead and just show you this let's open her up and you have a little pencil case made out of canvas and if you would like you can actually stick these on here and i think that's super cute i think i'm gonna do that later i don't know i'm not sure if i'm going to keep this though because i do have quite a lot of pencil cases already oh okay so it's not just flat it actually is triangular in shape as you can see there so you can um, put a lot of things in here so let's put this in here since i have shown you them let's see if all the things will fit in here i'm just curious and it says here lifestyle what what sunshine is to flower smiles are to humanity that's semi-accurate and i have this sheet of very sparkly little bears that are brown and this cute sticky note this is oh actually i don't know if this is sticky note or just notes paper oh they're just loose notes paper and not, not a problem i still like loose notes paper and then i have this oh my gosh look at how cute that bear is so this coffee theme i feel like is coffee and bears it's just very low-key coffee <laughs> oh you do get this um stationary pal stickers so they do make their own stickers that's very similar to sautillé from korea and they're actually pretty good i've always wanted one of these i just never picked them up i don't know why and then i have this little monami plus pen oh i've never had this before and it is a felt tip come on focus there we go very very fine tip and then lastly we have this and i know that this is sticky note because i had one of these before not the same color so for here you need to tear it first along the the dotted part and it's not always going to be great so if that is a problem you can take it off so it is sticky on this side so what you do is you fold it first and then you tear it because it's easier that way it doesn't always work perfectly but then you get this little thing and you can use your new pens to write in it and lastly i have this pilot juice up 05 i prefer the 0 0.4 but this will do just fine i love pilot pilot is my favorite ballpoint pen of all time more than sarasa or anything else and comes to this card once again and that is a very affordable bundle and once again if you get it as a bundle you do get a little bit of discount for getting instead of just buying all of these separately and the last item for this haul is this little bag it's a little beat up because there's just so much in here and i know that this is vintage themed okay i don't know i think this is vintage themed and let's see it's wrapped in a or tied up with this 
ribbon does it work it works it works okay and you have a little doily that's why i think this is vintage themed because of the doily and that um little ribbon and there's so much in here this is a lot more expensive than what i showed you earlier they do have quite a significant selection across different price points so make sure to check out all of them and so yes this is vintage themed so you get washi okay you do get a notebook which is significant which explains the significant difference between the price points um scissors a full set of that pen uh, more papers little papers for journaling and then i already have this but i'm glad to have another one because i have been using them quite a lot and more papers and i do have this but i'm glad to have another one and this let's start with this one this is a glue tape i'm not going to open it because i still i've already opened the one that i have and i'm currently using it now so i don't want this to dry up and hopefully it will not dry up it does have a cartridge inside because you can change the cartridge of this so once you have this you can just buy the cartridge separately so that's your glue so now i have a really good pair of scissors you can never go wrong with a good pair of scissors especially if you're doing a lot of crafting and then let's do the paper so i have quite a lot of papers here so this one i know is just paper maybe some of these are stickers i'm not quite sure i couldn't tell from the photo so this one is just paper so you can use it to decorate your notebook by the way guys this box smells so good i don't know what they did it didn't used to smell like this it didn't smell of anything before but today or rather yesterday when i opened my package it smelled so good it's floral but also clean it's a cross between clinique and lancome so i can't describe it very well because i'm not very good at that but that is what it smells like and it's just really nice it's a nice experience so i think these are are, you, are these just paper i don't want to okay let's try again let us try again i really can't tell sometimes they are paper sometimes they're not oh my gosh yeah they are stickers so that makes me very very happy and they're washi stickers too so that is very nice so you get quite a lot so you can do mixed media should you like and i think some of them are almost christmas themed like that one so that's perfect because it is almost christmas and this is gonna make such a wonderful gift if you know someone who is trying to or has just started getting into journaling and then your friend will have all of these already in one package if i get this i will be very happy so these are a bunch of um, cards rather thicker paper and then also just paper and i'm not sure okay i'm gonna try again if this is okay some of them are stickers some of them are not stickers so again the washi sticker but the bigger ones like this one is just paper so once again really good for journaling and like some of these are cards as well and then you also get a doily okay i'm curious about this why is it shaped like this is this like an envelope oh yes it is so what you do is it's already pre-cut for you and you can fold it fold it out like this and then you can seal it here you can seal it inside or you can just seal it with a little sticker or even what, are, what is that called wax seal at the back and with a little bit of uh, ribbon a little bit of dried flowers and you have a little envelope so that's a really fun thing to have in here as well i mean you can do so much with just this so if you want all of these you can get the bundle or if you would just like this package which i highly recommend because there's so many things to do you can just also just grab this so before we go on to the um to the pens i wanted to show you the what is this washi but like 
the washi isn't straight here it's like um, wavy like a stamp so that's really really fun so you get quite a lot of stamps and you can uh, use this once again for pen pal so this is the plus pen 3000 it is very very similar to this also plus pen 3000 by the way monami is a korean brand see right here so the tip is different the one that i showed you earlier with the coffee one is a true fine tip where while this one with the white body is a a very short brush and lastly we have the notebook so this is what i'm most excited about from that package because it didn't show in the listing that a notebook was going to be included but it was in the pictures so this is a nice velvet one and these are the end pages will it lie flat it will not lie flat oh so the material is polyurethane very similar to hobonichi week smooth and the paper is cream which is great i have in chinese i guess something i don't know what they are uh, idd codes and time differences um these whatever these are and dailies okay i must say <laughs> this notebook would have been prettier if it was just blank so i'm glad to have this just to try out that style of journaling so that is all of them in that package so this is the vintage bundle and once again i will link everything that you saw here in the description box below so if you want anything just check out the link below and i'll even try to make it as organized as i can and it does really take quite a while because i want everything listed in order of appearance so i'm gonna try my very best to do that for you guys so that is it for us today thank you so much for watching so i'm going to go ahead and stick the um black friday deals that they have for stationary pal as i am talking right now so you have something to look at on, on the screen and while I'm doing that, I do highly encourage you guys to check out Stationery Pal. They have this massive sale and it's very good because a lot of the items or at least a good portion of the items that are really highly coveted ones like pens and things are 50% off, even the limited edition ones. So I do highly recommend getting your stationery fix from Stationery Pal at this, in this month. And also, I know you've been wondering where have I been and where is my setup video series that I have been promoting for like weeks and weeks and weeks. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to um, post them. I did film them. I have them all filmed. I just need to edit it. And unfortunately, I got very ill. Then I had to fly and then I had health issues while I was there until the very end when I was leaving. I still had new but still quite as tiring health issues for life. But that's going to be coming next week. I'm just not going to announce it. When you see that video and I say that it's video one of the series that it has started. So for now, thank you so much once again. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like some more planner videos, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to comment down below which of these is your favorite item. And you guys, I'm really good at um, answering comments. I've just been really bad since I was away. But I do answer and read all of your wonderful comments on my video. So thank you so much for that as well. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.